Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about the vowel sounds A and E. A and E are both mid-front vowels. That means that the front of the tongue, pretend this is my tongue, the front of the tongue will be raised about midway in my mouth. These two vowel sounds are, with these two vowel sounds, the tongue is lower in the mouth than for e and i, but the tongue is still raised. The front of the tongue is still raised, but only about halfway, about midway in my mouth. E, I'm sorry, a is a tense vowel. That means my tongue muscles will be tight in my mouth. And e is a lax vowel, so my muscles will be relaxed. When I say A, I put the tip of my tongue behind my lower teeth. Remember the tip is the very end, if this is, so that's down a bit behind my lower front teeth. Then the front of my tongue will be raised up, just about the middle of my mouth. The sides of my tongue will push against my upper back teeth. When I say A, I have to open my mouth a bit. A, A, and, and my tongue is pushing up against my teeth. A, A. The mouth is mostly spread, but not spread as much as for E. Remember, E was a high front vowel. This one is A. So the mouth is not spread as much, it's less spread, and it's open more this way. A, A. Eh, it has the tongue in about the same position, but as I said, it's a lax vowel, so the sides of my mouth will relax, and my tongue will not push against my upper teeth. It can still touch my teeth, but it won't push. Eh. A, 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 Do you see the sides of my mouth relaxing when I say E? Here, A, E, A, E. Let's compare these sounds to E. I'll just write it here. E and I. These are both high front vowels. E was at the first, was at the top of our vowel chart. When I say E, E, I, A, E. Notice that I put these vowels in the same order that I showed them to you in the vowel chart, you can see how my mouth changes moving from one to the other. The first one is E, I, A, E. E, I, A, E. So this is A, the third sound that I've written over here, A. So my mouth is open. Not, not all the way open, but it's open more than for E and I, but it's still spread, okay? A, E. Let's do these. E, I, A, E. E, I, A, E. Okay? So remember, this is a mid-front vowel. So the front of the tongue is raised about midway in my mouth. This one is tense, so my tongue muscles are tight and pushing against my back teeth. This one is lax, so my tongue is relaxed and does not push against my teeth. And this is slightly lower than this one. Also, A is a longer sound, sound than E. Eh. A, E, eh. A, E. Eh. So this one takes longer to say. Okay.
Let's practice some words that have the A sound in them. Play. Take. Maybe. Wait. Way. Eight. Explain. Train. Table. Faint. Let's do that again. Play. Take. Maybe. Wait. Way. Eight. Explain. Train. Table. Faint. Notice that I have underlined the letters that make the A sound. And the spelling can vary. Okay, different spelling um, can make the same sound, can make the sound of A. Okay, different letters can make that sound. So let's see, here I have E-I. Well, that looks similar to that. It makes the A sound. But here I have A-I. I have A-Y. I have just an A. So we do have different spellings that make this sound. Let's practice some words that make the E eh sound. Met. Test. Bend. Pepper. Extra. Every. Never. Health. Dead. Said. When. Let's do it again. Met. Test. Bend. Pepper. Extra. Every. Never. Health. Dead. Said. When. And in this list of words, I have also underlined the letters that make the E eh sound. Notice that most of them are the letter E, but we do have some other spellings. We have E-A, and we saw this earlier with the E sound. So this spelling can sound like E, or it can sound like E. Eh. So here in these words, it sounds like E. Eh. Notice this one, said. I often hear students mispronounce this word, students who are just learning English, they think that maybe they should say said. They think that this vowel sound is the A sound in the word say. But it changes. In say, it's A, but in the past tense, it's said. Eh. Okay, so this one is said. This is the past tense of say. Let's practice some similar sounding words where the only difference between the words is the vowel sound. So these underlined letters make the sound A. These underlined letters make the sound E. Eh. Please repeat these words. Say these words with me. Mate. Met. Laid. Led. Played, pled, braid, bread, waste, west, gate, get, age, edge, date, debt, lace, less. Pain, pen, a, eh, a, eh, braid, bread, date, debt, pain, pen, 
played, fled. Okay, a little bit of practice there. And notice that this word here does not have the B pronounced. So we pronounce this as if it were just D-E-T, debt. We don't pronounce that B. Let's read some sentences containing the A sound and the E sound. We'll start with A. These three sentences have many words with the A sound. A. I got to the gate late and made my mate wait. I got to the gate late and made my mate wait. I ate the dates and wasted none. I ate the dates and wasted none. He explained that he would take the table and weigh it. He explained that he would take the table and weigh it. Now let's read some sentences with the e eh sound. I set extra bread on the edge of the bed. I set extra bread on the edge of the bed. He said he never read a health test. He said he never read a health test. Men have less debt in the West. Men have less debt in the West. Let's practice these sounds. Gate, late, made, mate, wait, ate, dates, wasted, explained, take, table, way. Let's do these. Set. Extra. Bread. Edge. Bed. Said. Never. Read. Health. Test. Men. Less. Debt. West. Well, that's a little bit of information about the vowel sounds A and E. Eh. If you'd like to practice any other sounds in English, please look at my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.